Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got some cool science, but also some important science. Mainstream follies will dice up real nice, space weather forcing of critical weather phenomena, and a confirmation of the magnitude of the last great disaster 12,000 years ago. We also have a very cool announcement about Observer Ranch, but right now we're watching the last 24 hours on our star. Quiet is technically the word for it, like the calm before a storm. True enough, we don't have solar flaring, sunspots are quiet, plasma filaments are stable, but that corona hole is the king of solar cycle 25 so far. Major quake watch the next week, significant solar storm impact when the solar wind from it arrives. It's bigger than the one we had 14 years ago, March 2011. Moving on, folks, you've likely seen some version of this story the last week from MIT or the Weather Channel. Climate change is collapsing the thermosphere and causing satellites to linger longer, creating collision risks. Uh, no. If you've been paying any attention at all, you know that far more often now the opposite is happening. Every solar storm of any magnitude puffs up the thermosphere so much, we're getting reports of Starlink satellite losses. The papers on it are in the high double digits. It's the exact opposite of what you're being told. Moving on, we've got cosmic rays and lightning. Once again, we've seen this many times before, but always nice to get a confirmation like this in a big journal. Rather than statistically proving the connection as those in the past had done, they traced the cosmic ray ionization to the lightning bolts themselves, individual connections witnessed in real time. Top story has some sidekicks. The Gothenburg geomagnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift 12,000 years ago, was in fact global and extreme. The finding in China makes the full globe showing the event, and in this case, it shows an inclination change greater than at any other location in the world. It's happening again right now, and in addition to the ozone, radiation, and climate risks, Animal navigation is in trouble, and it's not just the birds. Everybody knows about them, but many other creatures as well. Interesting bit on turtles here. It's over 100 marine creatures, over 50 mammal species, and nearly all insects and plants use the magnetic field. And its changing is not exactly a great thing for their foraging, migration, and their finding reproductive zones. We have two pole shift conference days the next two months at Observer Ranch. They're straddling our two grand opening season kickoff events with special guests. Folks, the tent camping sites are ready now as well. Another option alongside the 3D printed mini are RVs to rent and spaces for you to bring your own. Special prepping events are coming later this year too. Head over to the website, call us for details. Your other family reunion happens weekly, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.